So watch for Temu Puki, Minnesota striker, and his positioning, his movement along the back line. Will he ride the shoulder of Tanner Beeson? That's what I would do. And DJ Taylor out on suspension, which means Zarek Valentin in at right back. So a little loss of pace in that position. <laughs> Danielle Slayton, let's love the game, shall we, with San Jose on their home field in blue. Just nowhere to go. But a Capo did find a way out eventually. Strength in numbers defensively there for Minnesota. They get it to their number 10. Reynoso, who's quickly looking up top. Puki will have a chance in the box and an early goal. So look, he has the vision to be able to turn, use the momentum of the defender against him. Well placed, well timed. It's his vision and its ability to deliver this ball while Puki is on side, bouncing over the back line. Look at this first touch right there. And then his ability to spin. Gruezo, who is so good at clogging up the center of the defense. And then Puki just riding the shoulder of Tanner Beeson, as we talked about, as we thought might be the case, Perfectly timed run, easy finish for the striker. You said that's exactly what you would do, Danielle. Like seeing the ball go in the back of the net. So will this be the stretch we remember for Minnesota and Temu Puki to find his touch? Another chance in the box, off the left foot, it's blocked. Shot from distance, doesn't miss by much. But Tajuri Shradi taking his chances. Well, again, San Jose not getting good enough pressure in and around the box. That's a deft strike. 12 goals, eight assists on the season. He'll take this first corner for San Jose. Not cleared away yet. Still to be had. Quakes looking for a shot on goal. Ewell will pass it off. You see him using his physicality in this initial ball, and then he pulls himself away, stays on side, gets the width, which is what enables him to get his body faced up here. He gets he gets a little bit of a deflection there, so fortunate. But really, it's that movement out wide, and then taking this touch right here, that separation, that final touch. Tronco. Minnesota having it in the box, a big save! back to this chance by Hassani Dotson. Just wide open, big save right there by Danielle. Adrian Heath talked about Dotson playing three different positions. Able to get involved in this play, but the ball comes right to him, of course. Shot from just outside the area from Trauco. And shoot off of his left foot instead of cutting back to the right. Corner now, and it just wide of the far post. So difficult to score from that angle, and yet Carlos Ocapo has just an <laughs> inch. Fuel now. Put it back into the box, a header! Needed a big save, and got it. Let's take a look, watch number 35, see if he is indeed offside. No, I think number three, Zarek Valentin, keeps him on. It has been all San Jose to start this second half. Reynoso touches it softly. Pookie, top of the netting. There's the connection Minnesota's been looking for. Reynoso to Pookie to take the lead. Slow motion here. But again, Emmanuel Reynoso there. It looks as if he's going to shoot. No, that's onside. No question there. Wow. Number 26, Rodriguez keeps Puki onside. And this is why he is so difficult to defend. You have to respect his ability to shoot. You have to respect Reynoso's ability to dance on the ball. But when you give him space, even when it's just two or three feet, he can play that ball right in behind. And that's the movement that Puki. Our referee, Alexis De Silva, is going to go have a look. So VAR has recommended 
that he at least come back to look at the play. Is what's going to give me some pause, but it still doesn't feel clear and obvious enough to me in I, real time. And it, it's this part of the shoulder, not, I thought this part here, where it looks like it hits Reynoso, is not, would be not considered a handball. Handball it is. No goal. Yule. And he knows that. Turns the defender around. Puts it in front of the goal. It's headed down and kept out. Well, first of all, if he knows a rolling Miguel Tapias. And then how does Dane St. Clair come up with that one? Adrian Heath told us the most important skill for a goalkeeper is to come up with the big save. Gotten a lot more even since that time. Both teams could make a claim to feeling like they should have won this game by now, and it's not over yet. Minnesota charging in front of the goal. Using the width well here. Zarek Valentin, every inch of that width. Good service into the box. Good commitment by numbers into the box from Minnesota and San Jose just clinging trying to get any little piece of it to deflect and it's Minnesota on the ball now Bender Garcia did well just to keep that ball in play great touch Dotson got himself some space big save for Danielle Gray Goosh immediately closed down if he knows it wants to go but this one will end 1-1.